Holy Wire Mod. Holy Wire Mod here. This is tutorial 9b in the Lewis series where we're going to be continuing making HUDs. However, we're going to be looking at the Surface Library this time. So remember the Draw Library from the last tutorial was just the simplified version of the Surface Library. So we're going to start by actually creating a new font. So I said that you can create a custom font in the last video and this is how you do it. So we'll say something like my font or something like that. This is going to be the title for the first argument. And then the second argument is going to be a table of parameters. So that you don't need to fill out every single parameter in this table. However, if we look at the wiki, you'll see it uses this font data structure right here. And there's a bunch of different parameters right here, like font size, weight, blur size, and whatnot, um, anti-alias. And we'll be going over this as I go along with each one. So let's start by font, which is obviously the font you use. The default is Arial. There's a bunch of different fonts that you can use. Um, but right now we're just going to stick with Arial. The size is kind of self-explanatory. We're going to make this about 100. Weight is going to be how bold you can make the font. So we'll say the default weight is about 500. Then you can make your font a little bit blurry with blur size, but it must be a value greater than 1 to work. And then you have scan lines, which must have a value greater than 1 to work. So we're just going to keep that at 0. And interestingly enough, if you actually create another font uh, with Arial font, you can't have the same scan lines value as the blur size value between the two different fonts. So, anyway, you also have anti-alias, which will smooth the font out, and usually that's default true, and you want to keep that default true unless you're purposely trying to make a messy looking font. That's fine too. Um, underline, self-explanatory, italic is also self-explanatory. You have strikeout, which is um, sometimes popular. Now symbol, this is going to say, do you want to enable the use of symbolic fonts? So you have uh, fonts like Webdings, for example, that's a symbolic font, which uses a bunch of symbols, or um, all the weapon kill symbols that you find at the top right hand corner of the screen when you kill somebody with a default like Half-Life 2 weapon for example. Those are symbolic fonts. So rotary which adds a line in the middle of each character in the font then you can give your text a shadow with this one. Uh, you can do additive rendering to the font with this and finally you can give your font black outlines or a black outline with this font. Now like I said you don't need every single one of these so for our purposes we're just, we can just delete all this and leave this and that'll be just fine it'll work just as well. So anyway let's now implement the font so we're going to say surface set font just one of the many surface commands. So you're going to see this is a little bit different than the draw method because instead of doing it all in one line, which is nice, um, you have to set these for, I mean this command will set the font for all future draw commands such as surface draw text, which is what we're going to be using. So we're going to set the font and this is going to set it to my font, which is name right here, the created custom font that we did. And then we're going to do another command. For all future text command draw text commands, we want to set the position that we draw the text. And we're going to be using this command, which is going to get the screen's width if you don't remember. And divide it by two and we'll get screen height and we'll also divide it by two. So this will get us uh, drawing roughly in the center of the screen. And then we can also set the color for the font. So let's set the text color. 
and we'll go maybe a hundred, one hundred, and we'll do two hundred. We'll change it up this time, and set alpha of one twenty-five. Now you can either put a string of text here, so you can do something like this, or you can also do a variable, which I'm going to be doing it this method so I can show you some more surface commands. So we're going to say message is equal to my text. So you may also have noticed that I put the surface and variable or create font and variable command up here outside of this hook and that's because the hook uh, does something called think which updates every single frame of the client so we don't want to constantly be creating a new font for every frame of the client or else there's going to be a bunch of lag issues and whatnot so we're going to put these outside and uh, right now this should be everything we need so let's go in game alright so we're now in game and as you can see it says my text roughly in the center of the screen so we did what we did with the draw command in about four lines whereas opposed to the draw library it's done in one line however what's interesting is you can do so much more with the surface variant because the draw library remembers just to simplify the surface library so just to overemphasize what's going on here if I do another draw text command for example um, and I put another message all these properties will then apply to this as well so until I put another command like um, let me show you real quick so I'll put another command it's not actually going to change anything else about another message and yes it does go off the screen because it concatenates these two messages automatically alright so say I wanted to put 200 100 here then and only then would the color of the second text be changed as well alright so let's fix it going in the center of the screen now you remember in the draw library you had the um, a line X and a line Y which were the two last arguments of the command so we can actually mimic that by doing a or setting a local variables width and height to equal surface get text size and here we put the argument of what um, text we want to get the size of in this case it would be message right here so get text size returns two different results so the first one being the width and the second one being the height which is why there's a comma here so if you're ever wondering how to do a or get a multi uh, variable result this is how you do it now what we can do now is subtract the width divided by 2 and then subtract the height as you probably guessed it divided by 2 and we will center the text exactly in the center of the screen just like that because it actually gets the how many pixels wide and how many pixels high it is so by offsetting that um, from the screen width and screen height we now have a perfectly centered text so all these lines just replicated what we did in one line in the draw library however what's nice about this that the draw library cannot do is it cannot change the boldness and it cannot change the size and it cannot make uh, custom fonts and also the draw library can only get the height of the text it can't get the width so this is very useful it's a little bit more work but definitely worth it so let's also get into doing some shapes real quick and actually before doing so I want to show you a nice little command called set alpha multiplier now if I set this to zero you're gonna have nothing on the screen so you can get rid of all your text or even all your shapes which we're gonna cover in a second by setting the multiplier to zero so zero times one 25 is 0 so 
if we put it to one then it will enable all the stuff on the screen so that's a little useful trick that you can use for quickly getting rid of your hood for example that uses alpha values which all of them do so first thing we're going to do is very similar to the text when drawing shapes is first we're going to have to set a color to the so we do that with set draw color and let's say we want 200 200 100 125 now all future shapes after this command just like all future text with this command are going to have a color 200 200 and 100 and 125 so let's draw something basic like a outlined rectangle so you do outlined rec flip and we'll say it has x and y position of 10 and 10 and a size uh, or width of 100 and a height of 100 so when I do that now you can see there's an outlined rectangle in the top left hand corner of the screen however uh, what if I want to do a circle well let's draw a circle and we do let's say 120 and 10 will be our x and y then we will have a radius of 50 and we'll set our color to something different so 100 200 200 125 so let's save that and now we have a circle oh, I forgot to consider the radius when putting this here so let's put it to 60 so now we have a circle on top of our box so we're making an interesting shape right there now what if we want to simply draw a line so we can do surface draw a line and we can do 30 330 and 110 so this is going to be the starting x and y position right here and this is going to be the ending x and y position of the line so it's going to draw a line from this point on a 2d plane to this point on a 2d plane and as you can see we have a line all right so also if I'm not mistaken you want to draw just a regular rectangle you can use this command as well so let's set this a little bit downward instead of to the right so we'll do this we'll do 110 10 and we'll make it another 100 by 100 box so whoops actually it was a little bit to the right so that's how you're going to get a filled rectangle so you can combine all these shapes for example and there's a couple more but you can use these shapes to make a unique looking HUD and also I believe you can also make textured yes you can you can make textured boxes as well um, you can use this set texture command so it can put like a surface set texture too and in order to draw a textured rectangle for example we can whoop, draw whoop, I can spell it's textured rect there we go so let's say 10 110 and this one we'll put below instead actually we'll put it 120 give it a little space and we'll make it 100 by 100 as well and now we have a textured rectangle with a nice little effect on the top right hand corner so this is going to cover a bunch of the basics for the surface library I mean I know it's a lot of information in this video um, in the next video I'm going to show you how to implement these techniques into making a nice health bar and some other stuff so if you have any more questions please let me know and until then I'll see you next time